hey y'all what's up um <laughs> it's me back on my youtube channel it's been like a year um i look crazy because today i'm taking out my braids so i'm gonna do a little video showing like taking down my braids even though we all know how to take out our braids the products i use and i'm gonna go through wash day and whatever hairstyle i decide to do for the next week probably twist but I'm going to go through, show y'all my process, show you the braid takedown, the detangling as I take down my braids, and wash day, my process with wash day, products used for wash day, blah, 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 and my twisting experience. So stay tuned. I'm going to probably look different when I come back in the next clip because um, this is a very uncomfortable outfit to take out my braids in. But yeah, see, I already cut my ends so you know I'll be back all right I am back it's literally hours later um I got my whole little setup here I got my iPad I got my laptop because I don't know which one I want to wash stuff on um yeah so supplies I got this mane and tail detangling spray you can't see nothing because I'm ages away from the thing just trust me I'm not moving and then um, I got my spray bottle with water and a little bit of conditioner. This is also a good detangler. Then I've got my comb and my trash can on the floor and that's all you need. Oh, um, I like to go by section. So I am a detangle as I go person. So I got a bunch of hair ties. Um, and yeah, as you see, I've already cut these parts. Um, so I'm just gonna start taking them out one by one as one does um yeah I like to tie everything up get it all out of the way and I guess um for reference I don't know um I'll just take one out and show how I do the whole process so this one is in real time and then everything else will be time-lapsed so yeah maybe I should time-lapse this part because I can't watch anything while I do this um but taking braids out normally doesn't take me too long if I don't get distracted but I tend to get distracted so tonight I'm hoping right now it's 10 45 I'm hoping to be done taking them out by midnight that is my goal midnight is my goal to be done taking them out and then washing is a whole other fiasco it's a whole other time strength time commitment um but yeah how are you guys me personally i'm doing great um if you saw my other video about my college experiences um things are looking up so december i had to reapply for the program which i actually felt good about this time and i did get accepted into my program so currently spring um and it's out um so yeah then what I do after I take the braid out, um, I like to wet it, like where the clump is, you know, basically the clump of dirt. And I just like to comb through it, um, you know, start tip to root. And I just like to get the, the dirt out. Um, but yeah, so I'm right now I'm only taking one class cause I'm pretty, obviously I'm far ahead as far as um, hours are. So I'm just taking um, interviewing and recording, which is the last class I need before field. Um, and then today I had to go turn in my volunteer hours for my field application and I got my field assignment. Um, when I filled out my application for my field assignment, we had to choose like three places we wanted to be and talk about the population. I wanna work with children. Um, so my three choices were Randolph County, um, DSS, because I live in Randolph County. Um, DSS is like less than 10 minutes from my house. Um, so that would be very convenient for me on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if you get into, um, excuse me, if you do your internship with DSS, then you're able to join this um, collaborative thing with you and with the, oh my goodness, excuse me, with the um, North Carolina thing. It's, a really cool opportunity and um, I also put down 
Guilford County Schools because I work in Guilford County. I work in High Point. And then I put down Operation Excel, which is my current job, which um, in retrospect, I probably shouldn't have put that down, but it doesn't matter. So today um, I met with the professor just to turn in the paperwork. We get our we were supposed to get our assignments on Monday, but she asked if I wanted mine today. And I was like, of course. And so I got my first choice, which is um, Randolph County DSS. So I'm very excited calling them on Monday morning to set up my interview with them um you know just all praise to god for giving me this opportunity because with dss it's very competitive there's not a lot of spots open so i'm glad that one of those spots is my spot um but yeah so now as you can see see this is what i mean about getting distracted i could have taken out three braids while doing that but as you can see um i got it detangled um, I just find it's easier for me to do it like this um, than to go back and detangle it. So that's my braid process. And then I just, once I get a section done, I tie it up. So now I'm going to speed through this. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. It is 3.36 in the morning. Ella won't let me thinking that I would be done with this by one o'clock. Don't know who I thought I was, but I'm done taking my hair out. And I have decided that I'm gonna go wash it. Um, that's always been the plan, but I think for my hairstyle, hairstyle, um, I'm just gonna do a slicked bun tomorrow. I have some braiding here, so I might go take it up and do like a big bun on top with the braiding here, who knows? Um, but this is all my hair that um, shed it out. You know, it's not that much actually for how much hair I have on my head and for how long. Um, it's also not that dirty. I've had these braids since February something. So um, right at about two months, but yeah, this is my hair in the trash. I am done with that part. And now let's go wash it. Yeah. Hey y'all, this is Editing Jamie. This video is way too long, so I'm splitting it up. Come back soon for the next part. Bye!